Good afternoon and welcome. We're coming to you from day two of the Fiji Symposium in Bangalore, the platform for all dialogue on financial inclusion. And with me today is the CEO of Airtel Payments Bank, Mr. Shashi Arora. Welcome, sir. Thank you. And thank you yeah. for being part of the Fiji Symposium. Pleasure. Uh, this is the first ever Fiji Symposium and it's happening in our country, India. Yeah. Your thoughts on this? Uh, I would say it's a, it's a very good initiative, uh, Fiji Symposium by ITU, Ministry of Telecommunications and other bodies who have come together to put it. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, constituents uh, uh, involved in you know trying to bring financial inclusion to a reality if we have to you know bring financial services and make it available in an easy and a convenient way to a billion plus Indians then we need forums like this to get you know uh, participants like us to bring forth uh, things that need to be done from regulatory bodies like RBI Ministry of Finance DFS etc and for others to kind of bring their thoughts together so that uh, overall we can all work together uh, in bringing financial inclusion uh, to a reality in India. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, could you tell us a little more about the potential of digital financial services to actually increase financial inclusion? Yep. So, uh, as per a you know, PwC study done a couple of years ago, there are over 233 million uh, people in India who don't have bank accounts. So, uh, if you really put it in a perspective and say that three-fourth of uh, the country's population doesn't have access to basic financial services and contrast it to 1.2 billion odd SIMs that are there, uh, you know, the, the gap is quite glaring. And clearly there is uh, not lots that can be done, uh, you know, if customers can uh, get uh, their recharge, uh, you know, easily uh, for a prepaid phone at a arm's length, quite clearly they should be, you know, uh, able to do basic uh, banking services at a uh, arm's length. And that is what uh, our objective from Airtel Payments Bank is, to try and uh, make it available uh, in an easy, convenient fashion. Uh, in such a, in, in, to do this, a couple of things would be needed. Uh, one is that we all need to work towards uh, bringing down the cost of operations. Because hitherto, the reason uh, banking services have not percolated down to the masses is because physical brick and mortar branches uh, cost quite a deal. And the break even of an ATM, for example, takes about five to six years to break even. And therefore, the penetration of uh, banking outlets, penetration of ATMs uh, has hitherto been limited to largely to urban India. And uh, it's, uh, to give you numbers, uh, it's six branches or six banking outlets per lack of population in rural uh, in comparison to 25 odd in urban India. That is the kind of gap. We're talking about four is to one uh, kind of a uh, number gap here. And therefore, to make it available, uh, we are looking at, you know, leveraging the strengths that uh, telecom companies like R can bring to the table. So we, for instance, provide uh, prepaid recharges through one and a half million uh, retail outlets in this country. Uh, contrast it to the number of a uh, lakh and 50,000 branches that commercial banks have. Uh, and therefore, we're talking about a one is to 10 number. There was a Nachiket Moore study which was done a couple of years you know, ago before payments bank licenses were given out. It said that the number of banking outlets through which banking services are made available to the masses needs to go up 10 times. And in a literal sense, we can bring that to fruition. And that is what our goal is. Uh, in that, we need to use technology in a big way. Because without technology, there is no way A, we can bring down the cost of operations, B, make it uh, more easily uh, you know, accessible to the masses. So what we are working on is a completely paperless, uh, branchless way of uh, banking operations uh, using uh, technology as a uh, via media and therefore keeping it completely digital and uh, you know, ensuring that it's available uh, through you know, over one and a half million uh, retail outlets one day. Uh, to the customer in his language at a stone's throw so that you know he finds it uh, easier to do these uh, basic banking, op banking yeah, operations. Yes, to yes, yes, yes. And what we are also doing is that uh, you know a whole set of uh, Indians today uh, have gotten used to uh, doing uh, you know uh, basic transactions uh, using phones. Yeah. Uh, so 40, 50 percent would want to do it on their smartphones uh, using an app, which is obviously easy because it can be customized, it can be made visual, it can be made intuitive. Uh, for the balance uh, 50, 60 percent who are on feature phones, we are making it available using USSD. So that's a format that helps him to, uh, you know, uh, check his uh, balance, to do his, uh, you know, check his last couple of ranking transactions and, you know, do simple 
things like you know remit money back to his village uh, do recharges for his prepaid phone for his dth etc and therefore uh, even pay electricity bills so therefore all this making it available uh, on a feature phone you, through ussd format in 12 indian languages that uh, you know is where technology helps us in taking banking uh, to the masses uh, but when it comes down to say policy and regulation what do you think are the innovations that are required around this to create an enabling environment for digital financial services so first and foremost i would say that you know what has come as a big boon and well in time for payments bank like ours uh, has been ekyc you know what that does is uh, through the uidi linkage uh, completely takes the paper out of the way so today for example we open bank accounts for you know uh, let's say even less literate people in 2 to 3 minutes just by taking biometric verification through an uidi linkage so therefore there is no poi required no paper required no uh, scanning required and uh, for the customer also it's easier because he all he has to give is aadhar number and doesn't have to get into multiple you know uh, filling up of multiple page forms etc and trying to you know uh, even even let's say signature today is not needed because the biometric verification works as a signature so for example we have put in a cash withdrawal again through uidi linkage which does not need a, a sign let's say the way you used to sign a check yeah. earlier so some of these have come in as a boon some uh, more are needed you know uh, all the work that npc is doing for example in the country whether it is providing the imps platform which allows for you know instant remittance of uh, money from place a to place b uh, the upi interface that they have built and again you know a lot of uh, transactions whether at a p2p level and going forward at a p2m level you know will become easier and that's another you know thing that uh, innovative thing that the country is doing uh, what we are looking forward to now going forward is also bharat qr code because uh, you know we heard uh, in some of the working groups earlier that it a offline merchants obviously it makes it easier by scanning to make payments easier but by incorporating it in let's say electricity bills etc it makes you know uh, it correct because uh, today a customer has to struggle to find out where to go for to pay his electricity bill payments and we have seen that it's one of the first Uh, financial services related tasks that he wants to do so that it makes that easier and therefore there are a whole set of these innovations and you know removal of regulatory hurdles which kind of makes uh, you know uh, access of financial services easy and uh, brings us closure to uh, making financial inclusion a reality in india and uh, just coming down to the next steps in terms of uh, airtel payments banks to support digital financial services what what can we have in store from the airtel payment bank So what we have enabled till now is uh, access of basic ben- uh, banking services through 500,000 outlets. So a customer today can you know walk in, in into any of our uh, retail outlets, open a bank account uh, through Aadhaar uh, verification. He can do cash deposit, he can do cash withdrawal, he can do remittance. So he can send money you know uh, back to his village, etc. Uh, we are going further on this. We will enable shortly payment of electricity bill payments. Uh, you know today he can do it on his app, but we are trying to make it even simpler so that he can. do it at you know any of these uh, outlets going forward we are integrated with the upi system like i said so therefore making payments at a you know a grocer or any other you know bakery outlet etc who accepts upi and you know uh, is easier typically we have seen that the customer journey begins with remittances which is you know the first thing for a urban migrant for example to send money back home uh, he graduates to doing online recharges for his prepaid phone etc he then graduates to electricity bill payments so these are the steps that you know we are seeing and then comes you know payment at offline merchants etc which is what uh, things like bharat qr code and our integration with uh, npci would help make it easier great thank you so much thank you so much for being part of the fiji symposium thank you.